Well, she says she was violated and assaulted by another student at Case Western. Now Emma Bardwell claims the university mishandled her case. The university originally expelled her accused attacker, but then he sued. News 5's Mona Kosarabdi spoke exclusively with Bardwell and shows us how this is just one example of a larger trend in campus sexual assaults. Since the Obama administration rolled out new recommendations on how schools handle Title IX complaints, court records show more than 150 lawsuits have been filed because young men are now using the law often used to address sex discrimination against women to back their claims that schools are biased against their male students. Dear Case Western Reserve, Emma Bardwell pens the open letter describing the time she says she was sexually assaulted. Initially, he asked me if I wanted to have sex, and I had said no. It was the spring of her junior year, and Bardwell says after a night out, she and her date came back to her apartment and went to bed. I woke up with him on top of me. And when Bardwell says she pushed him off. And that's when he pushed me up against the wall and grab my neck. Bardwell writes about the bruises, bite marks, and trauma she suffered that night. He got off the bed and lifted the mattress and used it to slam me against the wall. Soon after the incident, school let out for summer. Bardwell says she spent the next few months trying to process what happened. You're so kind of locked into this whole idea of like what you did wrong to be raped. Um, it takes a very long time to let go of that. So that fall, she decided to file a formal complaint with the school. Under Title IX, federally funded schools are required to provide prompt and equitable resolution of student and employee complaints. For Bardwell's case, that meant a six and a half hour hearing ending with the male student getting kicked out. I felt this overwhelming wave of relief that I couldn't, that I like could finally walk through uh, you know, the university center and not see him. However, a month later, that would all change. They called me that morning and told me that there was a lawsuit. And in that lawsuit, the student referred to as John Doe accuses the school of due process and policy violations, but also that he was discriminated against because he's a male. That could be kind of the reverse gender discrimination against the male by saying we need to make an example of a male in order to appease the public or student groups. Defense attorney Eric Long does not represent the John Doe in this case, but has handled similar cases. And he says a civil suit citing Title IX, ironically, is often the last opportunity for these men to clear their names. For example, a med student, and you've already gone $100,000 in debt in undergrad, and you're a second or a third year med student, that can all be taken away from you. And it can get taken away from you with very little due process. Since 2011, 150 such lawsuits have been filed against universities and colleges. These accused certainly have a right to make sure that that process was fair. And that's what the, the lawsuits really are getting at. Many, Long says, are settled even before it reaches the judge. There was a lot of her telling me, um, you want to put this behind you. It is in your best interest that we settle this case. The settlement allowed the male student to return to campus later that semester. It just sort of created this overwhelming sense of like um, defeat because each step of the way, it's extremely emotionally difficult and tasking to go through the whole thing. I reached out to Case Western and they sent me a statement which reads in part, Emma Bardwell's voice quote has been heard and considered at every step of the process and we have worked diligently to protect her and her interests as we followed policies designed to ensure that all parties involved in Title IX matters receive full and fair hearings. In the studio, Mona Kosarabdi, News 5.